I think it's a it's a wonderful event. You know, it's the premier I think agricultural event of the year. Has been for many years, and I think great credit to the organisers and. I thought here the site here is a wonderful site. I've just spoken to some of the European competitors who, with the European Championships here as well today, uh, and they're highly delighted with the, with, with the site. So, from a ploughing point of view, which is the core reason we're here in the first place, uh, this is an excellent year again. I mean, quite apart from that, as you know, it's a great it's a great uh, opportunity for the countryside to meet and uh, thousands, tens of thousands of people here from seven in the morning until late at night. Uh, Twelve hundred trade stands. Uh, and a wonderful, I think a wonderful sense of optimism and hope for the future. I think there's a lot of young people, thankfully, coming back into farming, maybe because of the demise of the construction industry. More people seeing farming as their first choice. Uh, Agriculture college numbers are up. Thankfully, prices are up this year. Dairy farmers doing better. Beef and sheep farmers, you know, always the, the, the uh, instability of price is a problem. But I think there's a far better sense of where we're going. And certainly the Food Harvest Report, which is our strategy for the next number of years, where we intend to increase output by up to 50% in milk uh, and, and indeed you know, seeing diversification on farms and other household income being brought to, brought to bear in the rural development programme. Because we do all need to move on uh, and, and uh, look to the future with a bit of confidence and a bit of hope and I think that's certainly coming back into the agricultural community in the last 12 months especially. So it's a wonderful occasion, there's so many people here from all parts of the country. We're blessed with the weather overhead just so long as we don't look down. But I think people expect, and that's part and parcel of what coming to the Ploughing Championships is, you'd actually need more than a day to get round to everything. There's over 1,200 stands here. Uh, everybody has put in a tremendous effort. It's probably the, one of the best organised shows in the country. And I think what, what I'm getting from talking to people today is that the future in agriculture looks good. Uh, the numbers looking to enter agricultural colleges has increased over the last number of years. There is an interest there. Um, people always said in rural Ireland that when the farmer did well, everybody else did well because the farmer paid his bills and kept the money in the local economy. And I think that's something uh, that certainly is going to help us get out of the recession on into the future. This is rural Ireland at its best. And uh, it's just not for farmers, it's for everyone. I've spoken to people on the way up there, along long the standards of people from the Dublin, from the Cork, and from everywhere. So it is really an, a, a national festival, so that's what it is, and a national gathering and it's going from strength to strength. And uh, now that we've gone into the modern society right now, I think people appreciate to get out into open air and have a bit of work on the shoes and, <laughs> and see the few cattle and see, feel the, see the plough and see what is that reality. It's a wonderful day and I think it's a big statement about rural Ireland that you know, people matter in rural Ireland, that we make a statement with our feet when we are here to work with and support rural Ireland, which Fianna Fáil is very good at. And I'm very pleased with the reaction. I'm delighted that the Taoiseach got a good reaction today. People are very positive. Um, we know that there's an upturn in agriculture, and that's very much reflected in the presence of so many here. Important people. That's it. very small we're here in the Fianna Fáil tent at the moment, which has been very good over the last three days. We had the tea shocked in with us this morning, which a great response and very everybody was very pleased and he had come in and had tea. We've been run off our feet here for the last three days. It's been meddling here with teas and coffees coming from all parts of the country into us all parts of the country and all very nice people as well.